Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube playlist where I'm talking about uh, Udemy clone. So recently I started uh, resuming my two playlists Udemy clone and Airbnb clone. And Udemy clone I will give priority here because we were talking about Next.js, Next.auth, Next.js microservices. So we will continue working on that and we will build the pages, components, services, all the microservices which are required for Udemy clone. And this is Udemy clone Next.js app. So, I mean, in the last six months, there were some changes in the Next.js and Next Auth, which I will try to incorporate in this. And then we will get started. So, this is my simple monorepo. If you have seen my earlier videos, then I have already talked about how to set up all these things. This is the PNPM workspace where I have set these applications, apps, and the packages. Okay, in the applications, you can see I have front end next CS server side rendered application and proxy manager app, which will delegate the communication to the target service. So this is what something like this. This is SSR next JS application. It's going to use this next auth session and it is going to hit this proxy next JS gateway, which will indirectly call the targeted service. So this is what we are going to do. And this next auth session will provide the token so the token will be managed in the session in the cookies so there are two options you got once you have the session details either you can talk to the API gateway directly because now you have a client side i mean the cookies and you with the help of cookies in the components in the server pages you can actually talk to the next js uh, api interface okay but we will do maybe just create a api routes in the next js API routes will check okay does your session exist then I will call the next next JS APIs and next JS APIs will further delegate the communication to the target service so I have started uh, recording the videos and now this is what we are going to build so we'll create a server side pages the authentication is kind of I already implemented uh, you can see the the home page because this is all done through the next auth profile doesn't exist i can do sign in sign in with auth0 and then i can just use a sign in mechanism either you log in with a google or something let me see if it works because i haven't checked the code since a while so log in with a google and then i need to authorize this and you can see this user session profile is coming that means my user has logged in and this is the session details which contain the session token access token and the user profile details so this is the user session you can do a logout so basic communication okay how the the login should flow now we just need to put some pages the templates because it's authenticated this is a session detail and then this is the i mean the, the, the google image access token and this access token we can further use to establish communication with the apis the apis will use same auth zero credentials to validate this token because on Auth0 we have created an ap application so that is generating us the tokens and same Auth0 session or sorry Auth0 app IDs or secret IDs we will use to validate the token if the token is valid coming from next JS APIs so this is what uh, we are building and I will just uh, go forward on that I have started recording and this is what we are going to forward I'm doing a two things Airbnb clone and Udemy clone both I will try to push videos as much as possible because when you are building this uh, much big application you should keep writing the code you should keep building something every day keep exploring something new uh, on the end-to-end -end approach and this is all full stack application it's not like okay I'm, I'm just doing a Next.js these are Next.js microservices the proxy service and this is the Next.js using Next Auth and Auth0 and we are writing, we are doing all these concepts of Next.js server side rendering where we are writing a server side pages, accessing the API routes and then calling the Next.js APIs. Okay, it's going to be an interesting ride. Let's get started again with this.